I'd like to talk about a taxonomy of influences on ability tests. Notice that it's a taxonomy, not the taxonomy. There are many different ways that we could talk about different influences. This is just one. The taxonomy I'd like to talk about involves three dimensions, stability, specificity, and relevance. Suppose we have two tests, test A and test B. We want to combine them into a composite score. One of the reasons that you might want to make a composite score is that you believe that both tests are designed to measure some construct. That is, there's some influence that both tests are measuring. Typically, this influence is a stable influence. In all measurement, and especially in psychological measurement, there is measurement error. That is, there's some influence on test performance that is specific to test A and another one that's specific to test B. And the influence is transient. It'll be there sometimes and not others. All measurement error is irrelevant to the construct that you're trying to measure. There are some influences on test performance that are reliable, that is, they are stable, but they are not relevant to the construct that's being measured. In most discussions of reliability and validity, this is the model that we typically use. However, it's not the only one. Some influences are stable, relevant to the construct, but specific to one test or the other. How could this be? If they're measuring a common construct, how could there be specific influences? If the construct that we're measuring is not unidimensional, it is by nature, it is multidimensional, we can have specific abilities that are part of the construct. For example, we can all agree that there is something called arithmetic. Yet arithmetic is not unidimensional. We can divide it many different ways, but one way is by the four major operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Suppose we're trying to measure arithmetic ability, and test A is a measure of addition, and test B is a measure of subtraction. We can agree that they're measuring arithmetic, and there are parts of it that are shared across both tests, but the addition test will have some parts that are specific to test A, and the test B, the subtraction test, will have aspects that are relevant to subtraction and to arithmetic as a whole. For example, borrowing and regrouping and subtraction doesn't happen in addition in the same way, but it is part of arithmetic, and it's part of subtraction specifically. Not all abilities are stable. Some of them fluctuate quite a bit. For example, in the domain of attention, we expect that attention abilities do fluctuate. And this is not due to measurement error that when we're measuring attention at a specific moment, we are validly capturing the person's ability to pay attention at that time, but we don't expect that attention stays constant. For example, fatigue does influence attention. That is, when you're tired, your attentional abilities really are worse. Now, it's possible that fatigue will affect test A more than it affects test B, and therefore we would have specific transient influences that are relevant to the construct that we're being measured. We can imagine that there are shared influences on test performance that are not part of the construct. For example, if we have a measure of quantitative reasoning and both tests require quite a bit of reading comprehension, this reading comprehension may be an undue influence on test performance and is not part of quantitative reasoning. Not all errors are specific. Some errors are shared across tests and this would be correlated measurement error. For example, if some examiners in your study are very, very poor, and they develop very poor rapport, and are poor at motivating students to do their best, this influence will show up across tests and is irrelevant to the construct being measured. Finally, some influences on test performance are shared and transient. For example, if we're measuring attention, and a person comes to the testing session drunk, while drunk, their attention really is worse, and it'll show up on both tests. So this would be something that is relevant to the construct. When you're drunk, your attention really is worse, and it's shared across both tests. But we don't expect someone to stay drunk all the time, at least not most people. So to highlight the three different dimensions, the first dimension we could say is whether how specific the influence is. Some, some influences affect test A, some influences affect test B, some influences affect both A and B and are shared. The second dimension is how stable the influence is. Some influences last and some do not. Now, granted, stability is not really dichotomous like this. There are degrees of stability. Some are very transient, some are somewhat transient, and some are somewhat stable, some are very stable. The last dimension is the relevance. Some influences are relevant to the construct that being measured and some are irrelevant. Taking the influences row by row, the first row is measurement error. Some is shared, some is not. There are stable traits and other influences. Some of them we could call bias, some not. 
But these are all things that are stable, but not relevant. Some are shared, some are not. Then we have traits that are relevant to the construct being measured. These are stable influences. Some are shared, some are not. And finally, some abilities fluctuate quite a bit. And so performance reflects the state that the person is in rather than the long-term trait that the person possesses or the ability that the person has. Now, to capture all of these different influences in one study would be very difficult. The measurement design would have to be quite complex. For most purposes, we can simplify things quite a bit. We assume that many of these exotic influences, like transient, shared, rel trait-relevant influences, are small, and we can treat them as if they are measurement error. But we should always keep in mind the full range of possibilities when we're talking about the validity of tests.